can we eat outside tomorrow, Labor Day? Here's Tim. Yes, you can. You can grill outside tomorrow. Looks like a nice day for us on Monday overall. Might have to get through a few storms tonight before we get to Labor Day, but right now the chances of those storms becoming severe, it's really limited. So still watching for some storms, starting to see some heavier showers pop up here and there. Not a whole lot of lightning with them yet, but that could change over the next couple of hours. A more active pattern next week in terms of rainfall, which we could use to put a dent in this drought. We had some rain overnight last night into this morning that we really needed and highs dropping back below average after Labor Day. So big changes coming beginning on Tuesday, but tomorrow looks pretty Pretty good. 79 over here, still pretty warm. We've got a warm front kind of nudging north across the area, so temperatures are holding up. 80 degrees in Waukegan at this hour, 78 in Midway, 79 degrees in Aurora. Got a gusty southwest wind now, anywhere between around 15 25 miles per hour gusts exceeding 30 35 miles per hour. Those winds will stay strong up through about midnight. And now we're starting to see a little bit more activity on our real time clouds and radar. Some showers popping up here north and west of the city, back up towards Downers Grove, Waukegan area. McHenry will zoom in here. Looking for some lightning. I've got the lightning turned on, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of lightning with this a shower here just east of McHenry. It looks like moving towards Antioch and more showers towards Winthrop Harbor, Waukegan area and back over towards Aurora and uh, also the Algin area. All these moving off towards the east. More lightning across parts of southern lower Michigan It's actually southern Wisconsin and lower Michigan favored for the best chance for some severe storms today, but a slight chance still between now and say one o'clock tomorrow morning could see a couple of these reach severe limits around here. A real time satellite radar tracker calls for these showers and storms to move on through by about two or three o'clock in the morning and then we start to clear out from northwest to southeast. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Labor Day. It looks like a nice day, not as warm as what we saw over the weekend, cooling down back into the 70s. And then another round of rain arrives, looks like probably overnight Monday into early Tuesday. Could be in for another good soaking around here by then. Temperatures tonight are going to dip down to the low 60s north of the city, in the city, uh, probably closer to the 70, upper 60s for most of us there, low to mid 60s in general. And tomorrow's high temperatures, again, cooler than average, cooler certainly than today, average high around 78 or 79. We'll make it into the mid 70s tomorrow. Might be a little bit cooler up towards Waukegan, but most of us are around 73 to 77 degrees. And in terms of winds, again, those winds will be gusty through about midnight tonight, gusting out of the southwest around 30 to 40 miles an hour. The winds die down late tonight towards tomorrow morning. Then they start to shift behind a cold front off the lake. So temperatures tomorrow afternoon are actually going to start to fall a bit. Might fall into the 60s by tomorrow evening, setting us up for a cool remainder of the week next week. But tonight, 69 for the low downtown, a little bit cooler west and southwest of the city. A few scattered thunderstorms possible right now. It's just showers showing up on radar and a couple of these could get strong. I think most of it's going to stay to the north of us tomorrow. A mix of clouds and sun for your Labor Day, partly to mostly sunny 74 for the high. Just a little bit breezy as those winds turn in off the lake and your 70 forecast. Here comes that pattern change. So tomorrow still mild, cooler on Tuesday, showers on and off. As a matter of fact, the best chance of rain during the middle of the week, Tuesday through Thursday on and off showers throughout this period, drying out for Friday. Look at that 60s for highs Thursday and Friday. Next weekend looks great. Highs in the low to mid 70s with a mix of clouds and sun Saturday and Sunday, Jim. Tim, thank you.